Previously on The Walking Dead. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! No! <laughs> Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Hello, this is Calm, and welcome back to my Let's Play of The Walking Dead Season 1. We're on episode 3, Long Road Ahead. And yeah, um, what you just saw there was a recap of what happened in the previous two episodes. Um, just in case you didn't get enough of a clear idea of what those were. Um, I do recommend going back and watching them first, because it might just ruin the story if you're just jumping halfway through, but... Yeah, so, yeah, the basically zombie apocalypse, everything's bad at the moment. Take care of a little girl, and yeah. We went through kind of some mad stuff in the last few episodes, I do recommend watching that, but... We're starting a brand new adventure in this episode today. Walking Dead, dun dun dun! <laughs> So, I don't know what this episode's actually about, I actually can't remember. But I think it'll, it'll come back to me, because I've played this game before on the channel, you might have seen it. But I actually can't remember, so it'll probably come back to me later on. So, yeah. So, it looks like we're joining Lee and Kenny, um, running through streets. I don't know what the hell they're doing. There you go, episode 3, Long Road Ahead. I wasn't actually sure if I got the, the name of the episode right, so if I got that, actually told me then. Like this is our lucky day. Uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. They tend to take us by surprise. Yeah, well, the less I see, the happier I am. What are we even trying to do? I don't actually know. Love's in the, the, the town for something. Lee, oh yeah, he got shot, didn't he? You come down on staying or going? You mean packing up the motel and getting in the RV? Yeah, we've been talking about it, but you made up your mind yet? Uh, we should say we should go. Yeah, I think we should go because yeah, the motel's not really safe anymore. We should go. The motel's run its course, and it's not safe. You're damn right it has. We pile into the RV and don't pull over till we see water. And if Lily's dead set on staying, then well, that's the way it goes. Well, plus, I think we should go anyway. Because, obviously, it's not really the safest place anyway. Wait, is this the pharmacy we were in in episode 1? I swear it is. Yeah, just like last it time. looks familiar. Over the rig into the pharmacy and scrape together whatever supplies are left. Yes, yes it is. I was right. didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <laughs> Alright, so we're here to get some supplies out of the drugstore we were in in episode 1. Alright, that makes sense. Shit. Oh, well okay. done. Okay, <laughs> ladders come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Alright, so... So yeah, um, I want to... Yeah, so this is what we're, what we're doing. So basically we have to try and get into the drugstore. We're in an episode one. You see Everett's prescriptions. My character's name's Ray Everett. So you know you can see the resemblance there. And yeah. Uh, the main reason why I don't talk as much as I do usually in my videos is because... um. Um, because obviously this game is mainly dialogue and that, and I do and I don't want them um, to like talk over what they're saying. So that's why I say quiet for whenever they're talking. Lily's not doing so good, huh? And then we, and then I just go from there. Right? I just commentate whenever there's not when they're not talking. By like these, for example. Well, we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. Yeah, because we're that good, aren't we? <laughs> to be fair, though, we didn't. He could have come back as a zombie and eaten all of us. So I'm not I'm not regretting it anyway. Plus, he, I didn't like him anyway. <laughs> He wasn't a very nice guy. He wasn't a very nice guy to me or anyone else in the group apart from Lily anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me. Alright, so we have to try and get that car 
um, up there. So I remember, I remember this bit. Um, yes, yeah, so we have to do this. And voila! There you go. The girl's still upset with you for agreeing to take that stuff from the station wagon. Oh yeah, we saw some stuff, didn't we? Um, I hope not. I think she understands. I think she understands. Hope so. Not like we had much choice. In it, we went through a lot of stuff in the last episode, so we might as well. Like we had, didn't have any other choice. We were uh, spoiler alert if you didn't see the last episode. Um, I do recommend watching it first, but. Yeah, uh, basically, you those people that there was cannibals. We went to a dairy, and they were turned out to be cannibals, and they tried to eat us. So, yeah, and we managed to just about escape. So we just, and then we found a truck, and we with loads of food in, and we decided I had a choice to take or no. I decided to take it because obviously we went through loads of stuff to try and get some food, and then yeah, I think we deserved it at the end of the day. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Oh, what was his face? I remember him. Really? I don't know. I can't I remember his name sure though. It him. Of course it did. No, well, he's kind of the reason he's dead. What'd he say? What'd he say? He just woke up in the middle of the night, screaming his head off. He thinks he killed Herschel's son. <laughs> we did, though. Christ. I'm sorry. Fact of the matter is, we did. I oh, know, I chose to save him over Sean. <laughs> you're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. <laughs> Shit! Well done. <laughs> but we did get shot on the last episode, so I'm not really surprised. Um, are you alright? Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. Shit. I'm sorry, pal. I thought it'd be healed up better. You're lucky it wasn't any worse. You could have. What the? Go! Go! Go away! Go! Go! Help me! <laughs> You know, screaming like that's not helping anyone. What the hell is that? A walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. <laughs> um, she's gonna get us killed. It's a girl. She's gonna get us killed. No shit. Oh, she's dead. She's definitely dead. Fuck. Gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. No, we're here. What do you mean? I mean. We leave her alive, and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Yeah. Think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. To be fair though, Kenny does have a point there. But whether do I actually do it is another thing. Um, Shoot her or leave her. I think we should leave her, I'm not going to lie. Because Kenny does speak some sense. Yeah, I'm going to leave her. I, might feel I feel bad, but she's dead anyway. And plus, it gives us time to get the stuff we need. Good, let's go. She'll keep busy. I was dip. Plus, it gives us enough time to get what we need. I can't go. I don't know why I'm laughing as she's that is screaming, but it just. I don't know why. It's, some of the power just makes it more funny. I don't know why. I don't even know what it is, but it is just is funny. We should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Alright, so what do we need? So we need uh, this. We need quite a lot of stuff. So we need this, 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 this. We need a lot of this. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme! Give Alright, we need a lot of stuff, so we need, um, pretty much to get all this. <laughs> you think, um... A fight! She's gone. There's not much time now. Ah, oh, Christ! Alright, we need to go, we need to go get all this stuff, and then hopefully that'll be enough. Well, I've got plenty of time as well, so I don't need to rush, but we do need a lot of stuff. <laughs> Alright, uh, we got 16 items. Need you, we need you, we need you, and need you. I think that's everything. That girl didn't die for nothing then. Oh, that was all, that was Talk everything. Oh, that was everything. Nice. I right, was go. We're still clear. Let's hustle. Oh Jesus! Oh God! Ah! Ah! No! Get off me! 
Can he help? Go, 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 go! Ah, there you go! Fridge! Fridge! Bye! Boom! Alright, let's go! Go, go, go! Oh no! Uh, go away! Go away! Go away! Boom! Ah, oh, get away! Ah, oh, no! Get away, get away, get away! Oh! Oh god, here they come. Let's go, pal. Let's dip. Whew. Hey, we managed to make it out of that. <laughs> well, welcome to the Walking Dead episode 3, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I know these episodes usually have like, dramatic openings, but Jesus, I wasn't expecting that. What the hell? Why is it like arrow? Why are there arrows in the wall? What the hell? I was somebody doing archery on a wall. Archery practice on a wall. What the hell? Assholes. Okay, there's Ben. Ben, do no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make that joke. That joke's old. You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Why not knock on the door? <laughs> Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are going. Come and rape our women and children. Ha. Huh. So, what did you get? Uh, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Might just have said nothing. You're in. fine, by the way. <laughs> Nice she doesn't care about us, Kenny. We caught her, Dad. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here. Because piling into an RV with you two, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. We have to go eventually, Lily. We don't have to do anything. You didn't want to go because of your dad's health, but he's gone now. Easy, Kenny. So, you two are, uh, having a disagreement? Cool it, Doug. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. We're strongest together. It can't be you versus us, Lovey. We're sorry for what happened to your dad, but we're in this together now. In what about the food situation? Wise words, what about we... protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. And you know What about it. medicine? What about medicine? We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? We got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is She was dead anyway, to be fair. There. She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. Look, no, everyone about Bacon one. and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. 
Ooh. Damn! <laughs> What's wrong with her, man? Um, she'll get over it. She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. Now you realize that. So I'm just having a drink. <laughs> I just have decided to pick a trick me for this episode to clear my throat. Yeah, but I've just been calling them days lately. I don't know what it is, but it's probably worth talking to Lily about things going missing. Ever since her dad died, she's been a live wire. And a complete cow. Now, if she's paranoid, that's a bad mix. So in other words, I have to go talk to Lily, and then um. Yeah, oh, for Christ's sake, I don't really want to do that now. Oh, screw this game, I'll just... Fine. I'm just gonna f finish my drink. Well, I'll have my drink while this goes on. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Why do I drink so loud? <laughs> Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? The first thing. Um, I'm here to follow up. I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? No. I just heard you mention it. And you came in here to confess? I'm not stealing shit. I came in here to Why do I want to steal anything from this guy from Someone, these guys? One of us out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real. Who? For real. Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Oh well that's really awful. Really? It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. The fuck's opium? Count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? Yes. I want you to poke around. No. Where <laughs> to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Hmm. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get Bob rid of the a builder. Can, can we fix it? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, all right, fine. I'll poke around. Jesus okay. Christ. I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. If you don't find anything, I'm just going to assume it's you. Oh, well, that's fair. I'll find it. Dick. A mystery. <laughs> Jesus, Doc. Doc, what are you doing? Sorry. I heard you guys talking. Nosy he get? You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? <laughs> You're the Grace Detective, and I could be Dick Grayson. Yeah, you could be You're Dick. Lord. That's Robin. I know who it is. I'm not that dumb. Um, fine, you're Robin. Yeah, just have it script. You're Robin. Okay, you're Robin. Yes. <laughs> What do I do? Jesus Christ. I, I don't know. Go look around. Do useful Let things me know if for you once. Find anything weird. I'm on the case. And he's like, oh, for Christ's sake, what have I got myself into? <laughs> Alright, so. Doc will help. Oh, yeah, thanks, Captain Obvious. I literally just said he could help. I'm not that stupid. I may have about as much brain cells as a freaking Doc, but I can still. I know. I'm not that dumb. You know what I mean. Alright, we might as well talk to Clementine. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Wag one. What you doing? What's you working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. Uh, My you watch? Becky Parton? I do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. In other words, you're that bored. <laughs> you, in a zombie apocalypse, you've got nothing else to do. To be fair, I don't even know what I would do in a zombie in this situation. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where... Why do I drink so yeah, loud? Allow it. A good thing I'm never finished it anyway, so it won't matter. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No, did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Could Smack him. Bug on his pillow? Did you do that? Yes. <laughs> 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 okay. 
Oh, bloody hell. Anyway, I might just finish this while I'm just here. Mm. Ah, there you go. There you go, you want my full attention now. Um, alright. So we might as well talk to these guys. Hi, Kenny. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. Spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? Why, what? Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. Wow. Katja, very good at child safety. <laughs> you guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. I know, this group's really, like, bad to begin with. I'm, I'm not going to bother saying those. To you later. I don't I didn't like any of those um, thingies, so um, we might as well talk to Ben. Ben! The flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous, and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried, and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Um. Hey, Doug. Hiya. What's wrong with you, Mitch? We'll get um. <laughs> Do you know anything about this flashlight? Well, I can tell Ooh, you. Wait, 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 wait! I know you know everything about this flashlight. <laughs> I'm asking if you know how it got busted. Lily found it in the dumpster. Oh, no, no, I don't. Well, I'll keep my eye out for some suitable parts, though. That'll give me something useful to do. Oh, that's not very helpful. Anyway. Um, uh, alright, broken glass. Well, wait. It's like a trail. The hell's that? It's a massive cross. Handgun. Pink. Hmm. Dark. <laughs> a clue. Bloody hell. Maybe. What do you think it is? No idea. I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Bloody hell, I regret my decision already. Alright, so Clement's... Okay. Okay, so now we have to go over to Clementine and see if she actually had something to do with the red chalk, uh, pink chalk on the wall. Ah, I wish we could walk a bit quicker. <laughs> The only thing I have a problem I have with this game is there's no run button. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. E <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Psst. Lee. What do you want from? I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues. Yeah, Duck, I got it. Good job. <laughs> Why have he been such a dick? I know he's annoying, but still, he's still a kid. Cool. Duck thinks you're incredibly awesome, way better do. Um, oh, what's this? Pink chalk scuff. Chalk scuff. Somebody was over here, too. Hmm. See? I did good, huh? Yeah, Duck. You did. You may be annoying, Duck, but you still you still got. You stay here this time, seriously. Okay. You may be annoying, but you still got um IQ. You actually got some good IQs. You know what you're doing, big man. Good detective, and that. anyway, I'm going out here. All right, it feels weird going on this side of the wall. Um. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Great. What's that? Oh, hell no! Son of a bitch. Stolen supplies, boys! So somebody's been putting them in a grate outside of the wall. How has nobody not noticed that? <laughs> you haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's 
got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall, and there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. Not really. You die. What is the difference? One, you die by a knife. And we don't have what we need. Another way you die from something else. What the hell? So they're not true, the same thing. Steal from us. Who the hell is that? Who the fuck is that? Yo, got our people out there. Out oh here. hell no. We ain't fucking around. What do we do? Oh Lily. shit. They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. Lily, what the hell are you? Stall him. What? Just keep them talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. Oh Christ. The biggest mistake of your life. <sighs> shit. There you go. <laughs> Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. Um, you assholes better get out of here! <laughs> you think this shit is gonna get you what you want? You best get the fuck out of here! Listen to this hard motherfucker! What will it take to reach a deal? About twice as much as you've been giving us. You got it. Done. Is that so? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. Man, shut up, bro! Christ! Oh, What's why that? have you done that? Jesus Christ. Oh, dog, what are you doing? <gasps> oh, nice one! Uh, uh, oh, oh, uh, ah! Uh. Jesus! Shoot him in the ass. <laughs> he got ass shot. <laughs> Oh god, the whistle brings them up, brings them along. Oh Jesus Christ! Get back there, smoke him out. Ben, what are you doing? We gotta get out of here. No shit. Get those bastards. Cover our people and get them to the RV. Oh no! Remember this bit. This bit's horrible. Oh for Christ's sake, let's do it. Right, I need to get. I need to my aims on point. Go around, shit, the crazy back there. Ready? I'm ready for this man. Damn it, I miss. Noise. Now! Get over here! Hurry! Man, you saved our asses. <laughs> get inside! Yeah, just scared inside, fam. Hide in me! Help! Gotcha! Hang on! Oh no! Oh god, zombies here as well, that's not good! Where is he? He's hiding behind that van! Around behind! Uh, where's the last one? Oh, he's there! Right, I need to get him now! I oh, got him. Gotcha. Hurry, come on! Please. Please, get inside the RV. It's gonna be okay. Go! Oh no! Oh Christ! Uh, uh, uh! Oh Christ! Let's get out of here! Go, 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 go! Lily, get in the RV! Screw her! Let her stay! <laughs> Remember when he said I don't just trust her a few minutes ago? And now Kenny's like, okay, let her stay. What's the right? All right! Dog. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go left and right here. Uh, right I know, dog. I am not dumb. Maybe help me, my help. Please, left. I know. I'm just trying to hold off each one of them at once. But there's one over here. If I could actually hit it. Dog. Solenoid. Lily, last chance. Get down here. Oh god! Shit. The zombies are here! Why was dip? Oh phew! <laughs> that was close. Cat, Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I'm sorry. Calm down. We need to figure out why this happened. There's no point in doing that. We're okay, right? Katya, you're okay? We just lost everything. But we have our health. Cat's head is split open. I'm yeah, fine. but she's still Somebody alive, isn't it? Here caused this. Not for Christ's sake, boy. Really? The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. Well, yeah. Ben. 
I think we need to talk. Whoa, what? Lily, let's think about this logically, no? Logically? The new guy who could have easily been a plant? I think that's pretty logical, Doug. You think I'd do anything to hurt you guys? Don't play dumb. Were you hoping they'd eventually kill us all and you could join them? Vin's a good guy. Totally! Well, then who? Being a good guy is enough to clear your name on I this? I didn't do it! Really honest! I know I don't get wrapped up in the politics around here, but we really need to think before we start stringing somebody up. Doug, I appreciate your concern, but we have all the evidence we need. Doug's right. right. Let's just get on down the road. We can talk this out like adults. Yeah, like big men, you I know. I give someone who almost killed us the opportunity. Lee, you know what we found. You did not find just anything I did. Far. I'll go. I didn't do it, but I'll go. Good. That sounds great. Lily, look at him. I... Fuck. Jesus, I didn't. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. I... Oh, Christ. What's going on up there? I hit something. We gotta stop. Alright, well, we can deal with this now, then. Well, I won't well. <laughs> Kitty, is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Out. You know what? This is what annoyed me about Willie. She thinks she's like the boss, but she's not. And that's what really annoys me about her. Oh, zombie. Kenny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just kick you out. We should hear what everybody thinks. I think you should chill out. Please, look, it wasn't me. Please stop accusing me. No way, it was somebody else. Just tell us you did it. No way it was Ben, it was somebody else. Could have even been someone sneaking into our camp. That's ridiculous. That's what you think? No, yes. how is that ridiculous? Okay, fine then. Logical thinking in that. I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything. I'll I'll do watches for months. Huh, the hell you will. I'll get more food, more medicine, anything. Just you think any of that is good now? Stop panicking. Seriously, Ben. You need to stop and just take a breath. Do we need any more yeah, evidence? Man's panicking. This? Evidence or not, this isn't any way to treat one of us. I've heard enough out of you, okay, Doug? Oh, Doug, hey, mad. What's it gonna be? Just give me a damn minute. Ben, you know, let my man crew up the RV. Kenny kills that walker to tell me it was you. No! Ben! Lily, This is about trust, ben. and I've never Lily, trusted shit. you. Lily, lay off. I can't leave. You know I Please can't. Please stop. Please don't kill Allow it. The group. We won't. Tell me. Now. Booty else, psychopath. Let's just get back in That's the That's not RV. happening. I can't handle this. Yeah, leave my man alone. There, I got him. Now, what the fuck's the problem? Ben! No. Wait, what? What? What did he just shoot, Doug? What? Oh, she did. Oh, you son of a bitch! Drop it. Yeah, drop the damn gun! Oh, she... Oh. Doug's dead! Kenny, what's happening? Keep Doug away from the windows! Jesus Christ! Get in! We're leaving this crazy bitch! I didn't mean to. It wasn't supposed to be him. You know what? Hook you. You're gone! What are we gonna do with her? You're not coming with us. I'll die out here. Good! I don't care. You're a murderer, Lily. We can't have you with us. I'm a murderer? You've had Lee with you this whole time. What are you talking about? He didn't tell you. He killed someone before all of this. He was a convicted murderer. Oh, yeah, about that. <laughs> Is that true, Lee? Yes. Oops. In hell. Were you ever going to get around to telling me that? You got a little girl with you. Fine, Captain Obvious. You know what? Hell with it. Get in, Lee. Let's go, you guys. I don't have anything left. Good. 
That's your problem, isn't it? Maybe would if you weren't such a cow, then maybe you would have stayed. You're following it. I'm out. Why did you have to reveal that? Out of all the things, out of, out of all the times you could have revealed it, why now? Like, I didn't, like, why would it, it didn't give me an option to reveal it to anyone, please. so I didn't think it mattered. A word, please. I didn't think it mattered, because of the, I didn't get the choice, I didn't have, nobody told me to reveal it or anything, so I didn't think it mattered. Bloody hell. <laughs> What's up? Is Duck feeling alright? Oh no, he's bit. What the fuck happened during the raid? What do we do now? What's the plan? What's the plan? We've never had a bite victim in the group before. I'm going to keep an eye on him and see what I can do from a medical perspective. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. Not that you've ever afforded us that type of luxury. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. Well, that's not very good, is it? So Doug's dead. Doug's, Doug's dead. Doug's bit. And now I have to tell Clementine the only kid her age is gonna die. Well, that's, this is great. <laughs> Hey, Clementine. Duck is bitten. Duck's gonna die. He got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. Excuse me. I don't feel good. What about Doug? Gone, but won't come back. Because he was shot in the head. That's right. It's horrible. Yeah, it is. full of flour on April Fool's Day. And that same day, she thought it'd be funny to wake me up for school by playing it right in my face. What happened? Uh, just about what you'd expect. <laughs> Man, you got flowered on. Yeah. I don't know why I remembered that. Funny memory, innit, we? The hell? Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa! What the bloody hell? Get off of me! <sighs> oh, Jesus Christ! The hell was that? We got something up ahead. Damn it. Road's blocked. Now we gotta deal with this. Deal with what? What's going on? What's going on? What, what have we seen? I can't. Oh, a train! Let's go! Big train as well, Jesus. Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. 
All this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. Doug's gonna die in it. Like it's no, it's inevitable. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Clear. Stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's or a, a bit room. dying. Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? Yes. That would cross my mind. Alright, so... I know we're going to need something from the RV for this next bit. I, rem I remember these things. Um, I was just going to open this. Um... Uh, we need something from here. Pencil! See, I remember these. They always come back to me after a while. Uh, I just got my go with that. Alright, so now we go up to the tree. Let's go! I know, I think we do use this as well. Uh, yeah, so we go from here. And then voila! And go inside. And then boom! Shit. We got one. Walker, sitting in the chair. We got him. Alright, three, two, one, boom! Oh, he's dead anyway. <laughs> Suppose we gotta look him over. Yeah. All right, let's move him. Oh, that's the thing. Oh, there it is. Wait, I can't even get it. There you go. Of course, my cursor wouldn't get on it. Oh, something must have happened to him then. I think he's got something to do with the window. Don't think this guy came back. Christ. No. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it. Wait. Why not? Are you stupid? Are you fucking serious. <laughs> Here, look. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. All right, this fine. Fucker works. Seems like it. Apparently. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. Well, let's look around. Maybe it'd go somewhere we'd like to be. Man, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. Alright, so we need the Shit, thing, the notepad. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. What the bloody hell does indentations mean? Oh, yeah, I've got the pencil, don't I? See, I knew I needed the pencil for something. Perfect. You can read it now? Yeah, should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Right, so let's do this. So... And then we go do that. I wonder if we get the train started in this part, and then the next part will go from there. Um, cause I know we obviously we're not going to finish the whole episode in just, in just this part alone. But part two of this episode will be the uh, part when we hopefully finish this. Bitch. Whatever you did, lit the dash up. Noise. So far, so good. Now we're talking. I uh, swear so we got side for it now, so we go back over here. And which one? I think it's this one. Is it this one? No, it's not. <laughs> It's literally not that one, All right? Um, and he back out. Oh, I didn't even. He's like, no, I can't be asked with that one. I'm out. I um, I go for this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We need some of these. Um. Um. How about we grab the what's these? Um. Spike remover. Monkey wrench. Oh, let's go for the spanner. The classic spanner. And then we yeah, was back out of this. And then where's the thing to start the engine? Um, is it from in here? Aha! So I think we go this. And then we think we go right. 
Left and then right, I think it is. Yes! Holy shit! We're golden! Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Golden. Man, feels good. Let's fucking enjoy this. Let's get this thing moved and get back on the road. Alright, let's dip! It's all yours. Alright, let's go! Voila! Oh, Christ! <laughs> Damn it! Of course, we're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck and get us unstuck? Yeah. Alright, let's go! Oh, yeah, we need to go find some water as well for duck. So we'll do that. So we'll do all that in a sec. Well, we might as well do it now because I feel like we need to go in here anyway, so. Bloody hell, what's this? Whoa. Somebody's been living in here. Yeah, man. Shit, think they're gone? I hope so. But this looks recently used. Wait, how does someone look recently used? Now, so we need to get some water. Don't take this to Kendra for duck. And then, um, I right. oh the map. A map of where the train goes. Oh, nice. These tracks might lead to the coast. Route twenty-seven, Savannah. That's where Kenny's got us headed. Ah, right, so let's go give this a catcher. Um, yeah, we'll go give this a catch of a duck, and then, yeah, we'll go, um, go from there. And then we'll go get us unstuck. Here, found some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? It's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't, but you're probably right. Alright, so now we have to go, um, get us unstuck from where we need to go. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we go from there. So, yeah, that's gonna be pretty much all we have to we'll do for this episode, and then next episode we'll go from there. Because I, I know we're, like, kind of approaching quickly an hour, and that's how long these episodes kind of are. No, 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 not that! I was, <laughs> I was about to get, I accidentally hit so I could use my hands against it, and obviously that wouldn't work. There. Hey, Kenny, we're loose! Oh, we have to head up to him now, aren't we? Bloody hell. Let's go! You touch any of my stuff? No. I took the map of the train routes. That's fine, you can have that. Really? Yeah. Got them all right up here. I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. Is that your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. <laughs> Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warmed to me right quick in direct sunlight. Wait, how have you? How did you get a chance to meet everyone in my group that quick? You met Chuck. Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. You bet, Kitty? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got. 
although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on... Uh... <laughs> Stay with us. We'd like the company. My, what the put did you get a guitar from? Nice. It's nice, though. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. Here, Kenny. Whoa. This hoss will take us right to Savannah. A hundred tons of steel. Put a thousand walkers between us and the ocean, and we don't have to give a shit. Yes. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Let's go, boys! Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. I <laughs> can't find anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. <laughs> yeah, fact, that's obvious. We already knew that. <laughs> I'm joking. Well, to be fair, we did already knew that. He's getting sicker. Let me look at it. <laughs> I, no, Kenny's in denial. We can keep going if you want. Damn right I won't. That's what we're doing. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through. Get on, Kent. Kenny's definitely in denial. I'm not going to joke. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. No, but if your son dies, Kenny, he might not even make it to the boat. Oh, you don't. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, let's get moving, shall we? All right, without further ado, let's get moving. Yes. We're on the move, boys. Kenny, you have to come to face with it. Your son's sick, isn't it? He's definitely in denial. I am not even going to joke. Like, he might not even make it to the boat if it's in this condition at this point. So, Kenny, you might need to do something about it sooner or later, innit? <laughs> oh, it's God. Well, anyway, that is the perfect time to end off this episode anyway. So, yeah. I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. Um, the start of episode 3, one road ahead. Um, next episode, we might be finishing this episode off. Hopefully, we will, but depending how much I waste time and how much I struggle in puzzles and that. We, who knows? But yeah, I hope you really have enjoyed this episode of The Walking Dead. Another one coming out soon. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye!